and moving to Williams. So this one really hurt my heart, and we're going to go back and do some F1 algebra here, which is now my okay. catchphrase. So I want nothing more than Alex Albon to be on a good team. He's driving really, yes. really well, but he just doesn't fit in anywhere. So I have him still at Williams, even though I don't want him there. Like, I would love to have him be at Mercedes. You know what I mean? Right. Um, But I just, I don't see it. So I have Alex and Kimmy at Williams. Okay. Because you, so, you had Kimmy Antonelli at Mercedes. I have him at Williams. I do. And so the same thing kind of with Haas and Ferrari, where, like, Haas is the feeder team into Ferrari, potentially. Williams is the feeder team into Mercedes. I don't think that they're going to put a 17-year-old at Mercedes. They could, but I don't think He'll they will. He'll be 18 by the time he gets, you know. Semantics, gets the, Catherine. Semantics. You know what I mean. Yes, but that, that is, that is a, a, a rule in the super license. The, that is part of the Max Verstappen rule in the super licenses. You have to be 18 by the, your first F1 race. Or you have to get, like, um, extreme approval granted for situational right. whatever whatever um yeah. so that's that's what I have I, I don't know I I still don't know I mean I know Kimmy's like this you know second coming of Max Verstappen but I just don't know if he'll make his debut next year I know that's what all the chatter is but I, I feel like he's gonna make his debut it's just a question of is it gonna be at Williams or is it gonna be at Mercedes yeah but also I mean James Vowles seems like such my man James Mm -hmm. Um, like such a level-headed, really strategically well-thought-out individual. And I wonder if he, very, very slim chance here, and will stop me if I'm getting ahead of myself, but I think he also may look again to re-sign Logan Sargent just because he is improving from last year. And James talked a lot about of like investing in the drivers, investing in the team and really like investing for the future. So sure. I wonder if he's like, hey, we've only had him for two years. Let's let's do it again and just keep building him up as a driver and helping the car get better and all succeed together. So I don't know. This yeah, one, this one. Was it's a good thought. Yeah, I think that um this the you know the the second Williams seat is one of the few seats that are wait and see, um, yeah. that you know because Mercedes can wait until um, Williams makes a decision to announce Kimi Antonelli wherever Kimi Antonelli is going, um, if they're if if the options are Mercedes Williams for Antonelli, um, and I think that Alex could you know. I also have him at Williams, but I think that Alex could potentially be the darkest of dark horses for like a real curveball if he doesn't stay at Williams. I think he will, um, mostly because it's a drive. He's the, the lead driver and they are a team that, barring this year's little, we don't have enough parts for a third chassis, is continuing to develop along the, the long-term plans that Vows has for the team. Yeah. That said, that. here's my curveball. One of my curveballs. Um, goodbye, Logan Sargent. And this, I cannot take complete credit for this, by the way. Uh, but here, here, my thought, and I, I agree with this one as soon as I saw it, is Joe Guan Yu. I forgot about Joe. Oops. <laughs> Oh, what was I thinking? Yeah, so this okay, actually I, came. I don't like that, but okay. I, I yeah, so, your so, offer. so I fully, I fully took this from Julian Palmer, who they they were doing a um, you know twenty twenty five grid speculation in the um, Chinese um, qualifying pre show um, over the weekend, and I was like, oh, that's a great option if he doesn't stay at Sauber. It's probably his only option. Um, but I was like, oh yeah, that, that does make sense. And the, the pairing of Albon and Joe could lead to a pair of decent performances at Williams next year. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I, I did a dumb, <laughs> who did Oops. a dumb of the week? Me. You, um, you forgot. No, I think that makes sense. 
I forgot about Joe. I can't believe I did. Because I've been talking all this time about how he can't leave the grid. He's so good for the grid. And I have removed him from the grid. What am I doing? Joe, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. (laughs) Um, No, that makes sense. And I guess why I'm saying this is because at Sauber, which will be Audi, we have Mm -hmm. Hulkenberg confirmed. But then I have Danny. Oh, Hulk and Ricardo at yeah. Sauber. Yeah. Oh. I know. And I was like. That's so interesting. Oh, this could be interesting. But now that I remember Joe, I think that makes more sense. So but you think Joe would stay at Sauber if. If it's not Danny, it would be Joe. Because I forgot about him. Okay. But I kind of like Hulk and Danny Rick. That could be really interesting together. 